What is going on every another episode of Stone Cold Cars Rips and Reviews. Today is a bit of a special episode. We are going to rip some Space Jam A New Legacy. This I really just wanted to do because it, it's a fun rip. It's kind of silly. It's old school. It's upper deck. I grew up with the original Space Jam. Obviously, you're not really chasing anything uh, crazy in here. The, the big thing that you're ch chasing is the chance to get a LeBron auto. But if you want to take a look at the odds here, we can kind of focus in. You want to take a screenshot, you're more than welcome. But really, it's just a chance to be able to pull the LeBron auto. I thought it was cool with Space Jam 2. So we'll just do a quick rip and review on this guy. I was lucky enough, again, to pick these up at my local LCS Red Rose Sports Cards. Again, link will be in the bio. If you need anything, hit them up. They are fantastic. Don't want to scratch over the, the king's face too much there. <laughs> Be disrespectful or anything. So I'm trying to get this open, but <clears throat> again, a little different from normal. It is an upper deck product, which upper deck, I mean, they obviously are still around, but when I was younger, when I was first a kid ripping, oh, look at that. So it's kind of split up three and three, kind of cool. Uh, we're going to break those out here. When I was a kid, Upper Deck was a little more prevalent in all sports. Obviously, Scape has changed, and it's going to continue to do so, especially with Fanatics coming into play now. Uh, they might purchase somebody like Upper Deck, even though they've already purchased Tops. Uh, you know, I think that's a play that you might see in the future, to be entirely honest. But, uh, oh, so we already got a Daffy Duck portrait, it looks like. What do we got here? Okay, so we got the Lola Bunny. Oh, that is a blue parallel. So, as far as parallels, Lola's a good hit, I believe. <laughs> the White Mamba. LeBron and Bugs Silhouette 6. Lola once again. And the Daffy Duck Portrait. These are cool, man. I, I think it's just neat to see. And honestly, I still like some of the old Space Jam cards that Jordan was on. Uh, from the original movie. So I figured, you know, why not just enjoy the rip? You get a chance at a LeBron auto. Might as well enjoy the chase, right? So we got Tweety to start it off here. The Toon Squad. This is the uh, portrait. Bunny silhouette. Bugs Bunny silhouette. We got Kronos. Lola Bunny. And very cool, LeBron James Profile Blue Parallel. That's a cool card. That's a neat looking card, I like that. As far as uh, the parallels, not a bad one to get, I would believe. <laughs> but again, this is not what we're typically used to. This is more just the, the, the fun rip. But LeBron obviously is amazing. He's an incredible athlete. I grew up, I'm a little more old school, so I'm always going to be partial to Jordan and Kobe and being a Sixers fan, I was a massive Iverson fan. So, but uh, LeBron is LeBron. <laughs> he is going to be one of the greatest to ever do it. No doubt about it. Kronos. Arachnica. Goon Squad. Algae Rhythm Blue Standard and Algae Rhythm Blue Parallel. The cards are definitely cool. I think Upper Deck did a good job uh, as far as like making a, a movie style card. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, brings me back to being a kid. Speedy Gonzalez. What do we got here? LeBron James Portrait. We're going to set that off to the side. Granny! Granny's here to get it popping. We got... <laughs> that's crazy. That happens two packs in a row. Porky Pig Standard. Porky Pig Blue Parallel. Drop that off. And we're down to our last two packs. Perhaps there's a LeBron James Auto hanging out in one of these packs here. You know, we never know, but we are going to find out rather quickly. So we got Lola Bunny once again. Oh, LeBron James card number one. Very cool. Those are neat. I like those, man. I'm telling you. I think these things are awesome. We did get another LeBron. This is the LeBron and Bugs Space Jam 6. Very cool. Ready to Jam Player Select White Mamba. Ooh, that is cool looking. That's like the refractor, I guess. And then we got the blue Gossamer. 
That's really cool though with the ready to jam, kind of like a hollow. All right. And our last pack from the first blaster. If we can get it open, it is fighting us. Hopefully that means there's something insane in it, like a LeBron James autograph card. I would love to see it. I haven't seen any pulled out of this yet. I know that you can. Oh, there we go. LeBron is an auto. Nope, but it's a LeBron James profile. So we'll take LJ. Tasmanian Devil Portrait. Gossamer. Oh, we got another ready to jam. Arachnica. And the blue Tasmanian Devil Portrait. Oh, that is numbered as well. 592 to 799. Very cool. I wonder if our other ready to jam is numbered. It is not. So that must be a, a parallel. All right. So that is it for our first box. Let's check in on our second blaster. See what we can find. And let's rip into our second Space Jam blaster and see if we can get ourselves a LeBron James autograph from the Space Jam a new legacy, Space Jam B2, if you will. Oh, okay, so that last one. Hold on a minute, is this a Mega? I just realized something. Nine packs per box, and our last box only had, oh, six packs and nine packs. Huh. Interesting. So I did not know that this was a different box, to be entirely honest with you. And there's a specialty pack in there too. So that is awesome. This may be a, like a mega almost. That is awesome. All right. So let's rip into it. That is a pleasant surprise. Didn't expect that at all, but let's see uh, what we have in the second blaster. See if we can get us a LeBron James autograph. LeBron and Bugs Toon Squad profile. That's a cool card. I'll tell you what, the artist, the artwork in this is really cool. Oh, I think we already got it ready to jam. Hopefully we can get a LeBron on that. Ready to jam is Porky Pig. <laughs> I think that's actually a numbered one. Oh, nope. That is just the regular ready to jam Porky Pig and the Toon Squad Blue Parallel. Let's go into our next pack. I'm really kind of surprised. I didn't think that there was different blasters that you could get for the Space Jam. But uh, apparently, I was wrong. We got LeBron and Bugs. The Toon Squad. LeBron James. Lola Bunny. And Blue Parallel Arachnica. Let's go into our next pack. Keep it moving, no bull all pulls. What are you guys thinking with the NBA season? Like I said, I'm a Sixers fan. We just got James Harden. I am heartbroken to get rid of Seth Curry, though. I think he did great things in Philly, and I really wish we could have kept him. Uh, but very happy to have James Harden. Goon Squad, Arachnica, Kronos, and Kronos Blue Parallel. All right. Let's keep it moving. I would love to pull an auto from this. I did see a Bugs Bunny autograph. Like, I would love to pull something like that just because uh, I think it would be awesome just to have for the PC more than anything, not even for flipping, just uh, a random kind of cool card to add to your PC. LeBron and Bugs the Profile again. Porky Pig. Tasmanian Devil Portrait. Ready to Jam Arachnica again. Is this numbered? It is not and the blue parallel white mamba all right we're gonna go back over to our other side here i want to know what's in that extra pack kind of intrigued by the differences in these blasters to be entirely honest with you pete space jam toon squad gray i don't know if that's a variant that's pretty cool though gross amir lebron james profile and Lola Blue Parallel. It's definitely a fun rip. I didn't expect this one to have so many packs. I honestly expected this to be one of our quicker rips. But uh, pleasantly surprised. I guess I should have read the box a little better. The one thing I will say about Upper Deck is they need to do better with their uh, packaging for the cards, man. It's, it's a battle. I don't want anything to happen to the cards, obviously. And this is absolutely fighting. There we go. 
LeBron and Bugs blue parallel silhouette six would be cool. And there it is. That is awesome. I like that that's a blue color match. Granny, the LeBron portrait. Tweety, oh, Speedy. And Lola. I thought it was Tweety. Let's go to the last pack on this side. Come on. Yeah, these packs are not the easy oh we got a film strip the film cells this is one card in that pack and it is granny that's pretty cool though the film cells it would have been better if we got a lebron corner's a little worn but that is obviously really cool film cells from space jam <laughs> cool insert didn't expect to get anything like that out of this so we'll put the film cells there. Actually, I don't like that with the way it's leaning. So we will uh, leave that alone. Cool insert, not a LeBron auto. <laughs> Far from a LeBron auto, but a cool insert to get for Space Jam. Porky Pig, Tasmanian Devil, Granny, LeBron Portrait, Blue Parallel, Algae Rhythm. Stack those off to the side. And our last pack, and oh, we got some gold, I see. Be nice to get a LeBron out of those guys. All right, and our last two packs, including our special pack. Speedy Gonzalez, Lola. That's a Kronos image variation? I don't even know how you would notice the image variation, but I haven't seen that Kronos. Tweety and the Blue Parallel Goon Squad. So that was definitely really cool. And here we have our extra pack, which I didn't see anything about, and uh, like a bonus pack or anything like that in these. I didn't even see that it had nine packs. That is <laughs> kind of crazy the way this card looks. It has like an edging, it kind of falls out there. Oh, that's a printer defect. It got crimped. Look at that. LeBron, oh, Elmer, and Sylvester, ooh, to $5.99. No LeBron James, everybody. But we did get a cool Sylvester teal number to $5.99. We got the Tweety that is absolutely crimped out of its mind. The Elmer Fudd gold, not numbered, but gold parallel. We got the New Age Film Cells. A bunch of LeBron inserts, some cool cards, the ready to jam. Definitely a fun rip, worth the chase for a LeBron auto. Out of a uh, 10 scale, because of the pleasant surprise, we're just gonna give this a, uh, a five out of 10. Fun rip, you really gotta chase for the big hits, but it is enjoyable. We'll give it a five and a half to be nice. That's a rip and review. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check in for another rip and review later this week. Bye-bye. <laughs>